Right, I'm ready. I'm fine. I don't feel like dying yet. <laughs> <laughs> Great start. <laughs> so we conducted this um, this interview about three and a half years ago, and I was asking you about how it was moving down from Steeple. Does it really feel like it's been three and a half years, nearly four years since you? No, no, no. Time's absolutely fled. Any highlights over the last? Three and a half years. <laughs> no. <laughs> no Sainsbury's trips. No. We have one exciting thing every week, and that's when the Sainsbury man comes <laughs> with his delivery. <laughs> How lucky do you feel that you, you know you've still got granddad, you've still got a family? You know, we're all still here. Yes, Everyone's happy. Yeah. It's yeah. lovely. Yes. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Very content. Yes. And hope it stays that way. Me too. For a long time. <laughs> On to a more serious subject now. Obviously, you know, three and a half years ago, COVID wasn't around. You know, how does it feel that suddenly, you know, you moved here in the, was it 2018, 2019? I think it was 2018, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. And, you know, COVID hit about a year and a half later, you know, and all that, how was it suddenly, you know, going through all of that? Oh, not too bad. We just <laughs> carried on as usual. <laughs> May I remind you, you weren't able to see family for five months. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad at all because, I mean, we don't go out much anyway, so that was okay. Uh, all the highlight was Christmas. When Amanda supplied us with all those outfits and we were able to have a hug, that was lovely. That was nice, wasn't really it? Really yeah. enjoyed that, yeah. yeah. We spoke last time uh, briefly on sort of, you know, you'd lived a life and a lot has happened. You said you, you're in, in your own little world. Um, but obviously, you know, adding to that, you know, as I said, COVID again is a huge, you know, you suddenly lived through a huge pandemic, epidemic, you know. How, how was that? I know we touched on how it was for you, but. It's a serious thing, you know, it was huge, a huge impact. I know you're on your own here in that, but another massive thing that happened in your lifetime. But it didn't concern me much. You know, I mean, I just carried on. Mm. And we went out to the shops now and again, yeah. masks as well. And yeah, it was okay. Yeah. We were quite brave, really. Oh, were you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Out of all of the awards I have won, which one's been your favourite? Oh, um, Maple Leaf. That's the film. I'm talking about the awards. <laughs> I said, out of all of the awards I've won. Oh, well, I can't think of any. <laughs> New Jersey. Oh. oh, New Jersey Film Awards. Is that what you said, Connor? <laughs> that, that was an audience member, not me. <laughs> Each time a new week starts for you, what's one of the highlights that you look forward to each week? <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I just take each day as it comes. Actually, yeah, I don't, I don't really think there's anything. That there might be the odd day or two in the week that we might do something different. You know, we might go to Moncton Elm Garden Centre instead of Otters. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, all this sounds very boring, and perhaps it is. But I'm happy in what we're doing, you know. But I just, just like 
every day. It's just, there's no pressure or anything like that. And it's lovely having Pat and Amanda here because I'm missing them now. They've only been gone two days. <laughs> That's why I'm here, I'm a part-time carer. <laughs> is there anything aiming for sort of 2023 that you want to sort of do? Is it going away with family? Is there anything you've got a bucket list of what's on your mind? Well, top of the list is climbing Mount Everest, really. <laughs> 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 and then... What's the time really? frame for that, you know, the training time... and... Oh, no, oh, oh I shan't train, I'll no, just go. Just go. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I am started, I've started now to exercise again because I have trouble with my legs. <laughs> they don't move very well. <laughs> I, think we, I think we covered that. So <laughs> I train running up and down Amanda's stairs. Okay. Three times and then I have to sit down and gasp for breath. Three times a week or? Three, oh, three times a day. Oh, okay, we're improving. Yes, yeah. Good. Uh, and uh, yes, I'm very much out of breath, but nevertheless, I'm doing it. Moving on to um, your grandchildren. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last time we spoke, uh, you know, one of your grandchildren had just started basketball and the other one had just started uh, film, wanting to study film. Yeah. And if you look at it now, one of your grandsons has captained Essex basketball team and Taunton Tigers, has made his way to the under 18s, one has won many games, and your other one being a nine time award winning filmmaker for Maple Leaf and award winning director. How does that feel that in four years, and your grandchildren still being 16 and 20 years old, managing to achieve such greatness within your family. <laughs> <laughs> what a loaded question. <laughs> uh, very proud. Yeah, very proud of them both. And I love them both very much. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moving on to Grandad. Oh yes, the light of my life. <laughs> How does it feel? He's been by your side for 56 years. <laughs> How does it feel? How does it feel? Yeah. Oh, um, thrilling. <laughs> would he say the same? <laughs> no. <laughs> what would he say? If, I say if he was here right now. He is still here. He's not gone. <laughs> he's not in the room, but he's yeah. here. <laughs> uh, how would it? Oh, he'd say, yes, exciting. <laughs> Would he, though? <laughs> but I bet it is nice, I bet, though, you know. Yes, he's, he's my rock. Full stop. <laughs> So a few months later, we then went to see The Lion King. Did you enjoy it? Oh yes, yeah, very much. It was lovely, yes, yeah, really nice, yeah, yeah. And then a few years after that, we then went to see... Elvis. We did. Yes, enjoyed yeah. That oh yes, yeah. It was loud though. I know. It really was. That's how cinemas are these days, <laughs> with the Dolby Atmos there. Grandad wouldn't have had trouble listening, hearing that though. It's because he can't hear. Gone. <laughs> it's because he can't hear. <laughs> Just before we sort of end this documentary, coming back after three and a half years from Grandma's Life, the documentary that I made about you, what can you leave us with today? Are there any words of wisdom? Is there anything you'd like to say? Because during the last three and a half years, you know, we've had the pandemic. We've gone through about 15 prime ministers. We've <laughs> a lot has happened, you know, in conclusion. So what can you leave us with? Nothing. <laughs> That's my in-depth thought. Yes, I can see. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time today. You're more than welcome. Anytime. Um, hopefully. If you want to hear parts of my exciting life. Yeah. 
Don't hesitate. Oh, I will. <laughs> Hopefully we'll come back to this again in, in four and a half years time. Do you have any words to say uh, to your future self in another three and a half years time if we do this documentary again, if, if you're still here? Keep going. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Are you sure you want to say that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you say to your previous self? 56 years ago, just before you met granddad, is what, what, what would you say to yourself back then? Um, don't worry. But that is very much easier said than done. I can worry over anything. And if I've got nothing to worry about, I'll probably make something up. Yeah, don't worry. If I hadn't worried so much, I wouldn't have so many lines on my face as I've got now. I don't think that's the answer to it, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, no, in fact, I am getting a bit better now. I, d I don't, I don't anticipate things like I used to. Can we finish now? It's because you don't know what's going on. That's why you don't worry. <laughs> we, we leave you out of things now. We just don't include you. <laughs> Well, like I said earlier, thank you so much for your time. Uh, it's quite all right, Mr. Rothby. It's been lovely speaking <laughs> to you today. Thank you. <laughs>